uh before this video starts i would like to give a quick disclaimer about the video uh, the video is a little bit graphic uh something that i'm actually telling you guys on this video is my god mom her name is miss ani she has a daughter her daughter's name is chai and chai actually has passed away due to domestic violence uh her death was actually on wednesday july 27th and uh today is currently august 1st the the day of this recording was july 29th on a friday so uh it's fairly fresh you know it's very fresh death is a very 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 hard to talk about topic uh what we felt like we had to do was go ahead and get get that get that message out there you know what i'm saying about domestic violence about taking care of the people you love about staying connected so uh i'm gonna go ahead and roll the tape uh, the tape is probably going to be around eight minutes long. I'm going to uh, flash some pictures of Miss Ani and her daughter so I can see the amazing relationship they had before her untimely death. And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, it's definitely going to be a GoFundMe link uh, whenever you finish viewing this video, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, no matter what it's on. Go to the description, go to the bios. There's going to be a link. It's the GoFundMe for Miss Ani, uh, my God, Mom, y'all feel free to go ahead and send some funds down there. If not, I still would like you guys to watch this video just to go ahead and show you guys and just so y'all can go ahead and see uh, th those those negative effects of domestic violence, how to identify domestic violence, ways to overcome domestic violence so we don't have more situations happening like this. Uh, the child, you know, I did this video for you. You know what I'm saying? My God, sister, you know, it's, it's hard losing people, especially whenever you don't love on them and you don't met them. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? We had to do something in name and your love and memory, something that was positive, something that was productive. So, this is what this is. You know what I'm saying? Long live Cha, for real. Long live Cha, for real. And, hey, say, man, y'all try to, uh, y'all try to, y'all try to stick around for the full video because it definitely does get graphic. But, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. And here goes the tape. So today we're actually going to be talking about a domestic violence story that actually happened inside the family. So uh, let's go ahead and take it away. Miss Ani, what actually uh, occurred in the family? Well, about two nights ago, I uh, got a call that my daughter had been shot in her face by her ex-boyfriend who, you know, she had already moved out from, moved away from, moved two hours away, actually, from him. And, um... It still didn't matter. She had been in such a toxic relationship with him for so long that I don't know. I don't know if it was obsession. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I read an energy in him. I discussed this with my daughter. She was 22 years old, just graduated from Alabama A&M, preparing herself to go to medical school. And he shot her in the face and he killed my baby two nights ago. Mm, exactly. And... And and well, then, then we wasn't there some like uh, warning signs of just domestic of violence? Can we talk about some of those warning signs? Yes, of course they were. Of course there were warning signs. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, you know there was all types of red flags. You know there's levels to domestic violence. You know there's emotional uh, domestic violence, physical where somebody's actually beating you up, and then there's verbal where people just totally disrespect you and demean you. You know, there's mental things where people play mind games and make you try to think that, that you're crazy or something like that. When you clearly see the things that are going on or exactly. the abuse or, you know, and so there's levels to it. So <clears throat> whenever you feel some type of way in some of these situations, emotional, physical, verbal, mental, it like listen to yourself, listen to your inner self. These are red flags. You don't allow anybody to isolate you from your family because your family is your support system you know what i'm saying and you need to always reach out to your family friends if you can't then call a helpline or a resource an 800 number google it you know because at this point like you somebody has to know that you don't feel right and something's not right in this relationship because you could die and i know that's extreme but I just lost my baby because of the same thing. I met this guy. He stayed in my house. He ate in my house. He laughed with me. He drank with me. He everything. And he killed my baby two nights ago. Mm -hmm. and, and I like 
how, what you were saying earlier about ways to prevent uh, domestic violence and just reaching forward. As far as she was saying earlier about those red flags, one thing we wanted to capitalize on was putting yourself first. Yeah. How, how, how important do you think it is to put yourself first whenever you're inside these relationships? That part. How important do you think it Man, is? I think it's extremely important. And like I said, that ties back into keeping yourself connected to your support network and not allowing anybody to isolate you because you know your worth. You know who you are. You know the family that you come from. Don't believe these irrational, false ideas and things that you come up with in your mind when you're in relationships with narcissistic people or manipulators or abusers you know by definition they're here to make you feel less than or devalued so that they can have their way with you or maybe even kill you exactly it gets extreme so this is why y'all have to make sure the child's reaching out and always staying connected with your family so uh communication is one thing we're very capitalizing on making sure you're putting yourself first and along with communication reaching out to your family as well miss honey uh can you go ahead and tell them what was the main reason that you really wanted to come on here and spread awareness for your daughter domestic violence man because i lost my baby my baby Man, my baby was the bomb, okay? My baby was headed somewhere. That was my future doctor. She's scheduled to take the, the, the MCAT August 27th. She was applying to medical school at Birmingham at my alma mater, where I got my degree from, and her father. And my baby was headed somewhere, and, and, and he just killed everything. I spent 22 years making one of the best people you would have ever met in your life. Sweet, you know, smart, everything. And at the end of the day, it took him seconds to snuff that out. Yeah. And she's just gone. She's gone. And it's real. And it's serious. You know, you know what she told me? She used to tell me when he made threats, he made violent threats toward her and other things. Some of those warning yeah, signs. Yeah, warning man. signs, red flags. And she would say, um, oh, he's just talking. Oh, he's not gonna. Yeah, he said he was gonna kill me. And now she's dead. So So don't take it, don't take it as a joke. Lightly. Take it serious. Take your mental health serious. Take these relationships serious. Don't think that, you know what I'm saying, oh, this person is playing this person. No, everything that person says, it comes from within. If they come in and they saying that, they probably actually feel that way inside. So, yeah. Uh, we actually do have a, uh, we actually are setting up a GoFundMe for Miss Ani. I'm actually going to be setting it up. It's going to be inside the link in my bio. So if y'all want to go ahead and support, just, you know, click the link in my bio and it, it'll be on the GoFundMe page. And uh, before we leave, Miss Ani, after we done already mentioned the GoFundMe, what's your last message to these people before we go ahead and uh, head out? What, what's your last message? My last message is value the people closest to you. I'm not talking about buying them gifts and giving them money and, you know, whatever the case may be. What I'm talking about is saying the I love you, saying the be carefuls, you know, saying, you know, how you really feel, you know, in this moment right here, because the last time I saw my baby was when she graduated from Alabama A&M May 6th. Well, that week following, because she came back here to Houston and she stayed for a week. I wish I had known then that I would never see her again. I would never smell her again. I would never touch her again. I would never hear her voice again. I wish I knew that. So, value your people. It's mad important. Yes, man. Thank you, Miss Honey, for sharing with us. So, yeah, y'all, I will be leaving the GoFundMe uh, link inside of the uh, bio. Uh, and y'all just, y'all be awake out here whenever it comes to domestic violence. Don't ever be in a relationship where things are getting toxic and you continue to let that seed grow because sometimes it'll grow into a monster.